हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सेमेस्टर्स वाला दिस इज द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग मैकेनिक्स एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ टू रिजॉल्व अ फोर्स इनटू इट्स रेक्टेंगुलर कंपोनेंट्स यू विल बी यूजिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर टेक्निक इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड द एडिशन और सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ फोर्सेस और द रिजल्टेंट ऑफ फोर्सेस सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू रिजॉल्व अ फोर्स इनटू रेक्टेंगुलर कंपोनेंट्स बट बिफोर दैट लेट मी फर्स्ट एक्सप्लेन why do we need to resolve a force so let's say you have a rigid body it is subjected to different forces in different directions like this now let's say i need to calculate the sum of these forces means the resultant of these forces in order to do that i need to add or subtract the forces but the issue is these forces are in different direction this has a 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 different direction so i can't directly add or subtract them let's say this is 20 newton this is 30 newton so i cannot directly add or subtract 20 plus 30 or 20 minus 30 because their directions are different i can only add or subtract them if they are in the same direction so how are we going to solve this problem so in order to solve this problem we will first bring these forces into same directions by resolving these forces into their components resolving force means breaking a force so we will be breaking this force into two component the first component will be the x component of this force and the second component will be the y component of this force. these components are known as rectangular components okay you can see that this diagram is rectangular like this these are rectangular component okay similarly all these forces can be broken into their x and y components so now all these forces are in x and y direction so i can add or subtract all the x forces because they are in the same direction similarly i can add or subtract all the y forces because they are also in the same direction so now i can find the resultant of these forces now how do we resolve a force what value do we get so let's understand that using this so you can see that this is a graph this is positive x this is negative x this is positive y this is negative y let's say a force is acting like this right now this is the point of application let's say this force is f and it is making an angle theta with horizontal you will know this angle they will be give, giving you this angle either they will give you the angle with x or y okay now i have to resolve this f into x and y components so how are we going to do it first of all let's find the x component so i will be finding the projection or the shadow of this force on the x axis so what will be the shadow of this force this will be the shadow of this force right so this is going to be the x component of this now if you look at this triangle cos theta will be fx divided by f so what will be fx it will be f cos theta similarly for the y component i will find the projection of this force on the y axis this is the projection and this is going to be f sin theta you can see in this triangle sin theta will be this divided by this so this will be f theta if you want to remember it just remember the component which makes the angle with the force will be the cos component if they give you this angle as theta then this will become the cos component and this will become the sin component 
Now, right now, the, my force is in this direction. Let's say the force is in this direction. Then, if you find the projection, the x projection will be like this, and the y projection will be like this. So here, both the x and y components are positive, but here the x component is negative and y component is positive. Similarly, if the force is acting like this, then the x component will be negative and the y component will also be negative. Similarly, if the force is acting like this, then the x component will be positive but the y component will be negative. So, depending upon the direction of the force, you will get positive or negative components in x and y direction. Now, once you get these components, you can add or subtract them and you can find the resultant. Now, how do we find the resultant? That we will see in another video. Thank you so much.